This is V of M. How do you read the pen numbers? So where you see this dot, this is pen number one. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. And then from four you go here. Okay, this is five. So here counting is this way going down and here the counting going up. So this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight. So pin four, as you will see in the schematics, pin four is connected to minus 15. And pin seven, so this is five, six, seven is connected to 15. Power the up amp first and then do the other uh, parts of the circuit. To make the up amp give me an, a gain of 10, I'm going to use RF to be 100K and R1 to be 10K. So, as you can see, this is 10K. Just verifying the number. And the brown one should be the 100K. 100K. All right, so the 10K here is going to be connected to pin 2 so not the first one the second one and then take it anywhere else rf is going to be connected between pin 2 just going to make some space between pin 2 and pin 6 which is the output this is pin 6 r1 is connected to the input that we get from the function generator. Function generator is here. Function generator, see the bananas, you're familiar with the bananas. Function generator is on this side. So I'm going to look here. This is 35 is AM. And then 34 is sync. So Fgen is 33. What I need is to connect the scope. So in the scope, what do we see? We see the input versus the output. The input which is not amplified and the output which is amplified. Okay, so now we connected the circuit like the schematics. What we need to do is connect the oscilloscope or the scope for short. So in the scope, we're going to see the input versus the amplified output. So to see the input, I'm just going to take one wire from the input to channel zero here. As you can see here, there's AI plus, AI0 plus and minus. The plus will be to anything you want to see. And the minus is always to ground. To ground. Okay. Now, I connected AI0. This is going to be my first channel. My other channel is the output channel, which is from pin 6 on the up amp to AI 1 plus. Now I can I will be able to see the output but also but I also need to connect ground to AI 1 minus. Connecting it to ground. So connecting the oscilloscope or the scope for short, you connect one to whatever you want to see and the other pin to ground, the minus pin to ground. Now we're ready to see the output. Turn on and let's go to the computer. Okay, now we have the uh, instrument launcher. We're going to choose function generator and oscilloscope. In the function generator, we're going to try different frequencies. I'm going to choose the first frequency to be 1000. Okay. I'm only going to change the frequency and here the amplitude is 0.2 and notice 0 0.2 v, uh, v peak to peak okay so in, if somewhere else it asks you about uh, the peak voltage it's going to be half of this and this is the sine wave it's by default okay now I run this and then here we're going to look for AI0 and AI1 and then run now adjust the view, 500 milli, 500 millivolts, and make sure that the second channel is enabled and fix 
the view to the scale here for the time base to one millisecond. You will change the, uh, these settings based on the different frequencies here to be able to view them. The most important thing is that your signal, the whole signal is in view. You cannot have it like, for example, this. It will not give you accurate readings if the signal is outside the view. So put it at an appropriate scale and put the scale the same for both of them so you can compare. Now you can see the, ampli uh, the amplitude of the signal. The input is what? Is the green one. And the amplitude of the blue one is shown here, peak to peak. How do you know the amplification? You divide uh, the peak to peak voltage of the output by the peak to peak voltage of the input. What we're going to study is what happens for different frequencies. Does this peak change or not? And why does the op amp behave that way? Go to code analyzer. And then you choose the starting frequency as 5, the ending at 100k, and the steps 10. Now here it's going to ask you for the peak amplitude. Remember what I said before? The peak to peak is 0.2. The peak is half of that, 0 0.1. And then you choose the appropriate channels, AI0, the stimulus, which is the input, and the response will be at AI1, which is the output of your op amp. If you run, you're going to see the behavior of the op amp across frequencies from 5 hertz to 100 hertz. You can turn on the cursors here and look at look at the gain here while I move the cursor. You can see the gain is 10 which is what we expect here for these frequencies and then it starts dropping. At for example 100k, let's go to 100k it's almost like half the expected gain.